description box below, in your YouTube player for tabs and backing tracks on my website, information about the sound tools I'm using today, and links to other goodies via my Patreon page. Continuing. I'm just going to start with some E power chords 0 and 2. Notice there's some very, there's right hand muting and left hand muting. Notice I'm not going. It's very gentle. And then we have Tony Visconti's string arrangement. Let's look at that. We got an E chord here, so we're aiming at 9 on the D, nobody home, 9 on the B. Slide it back. Notice that middle string getting muted out by the fat part of my ring finger. And that lands on 6 and 5, which part of a caged E chord there. That's cool. So you're coming from there and you hammer on the 7 and 7 with the, you know, ring and pinky. You saw that, 7, 7, 9, and 9. And now, though, when we come back, we're going to be on an A chord, so we're going to get 7 muted out and 5 because there's A. And then, and that's kind of my take on the arrangement at that point. That's a little more R&B flavored on that E chord. Four on the, the, the G, G string and five there on the B. Notice how precise my fingers are. I'm not like this. It's all straight up and down so I can get that hammer on from four to six. And then the four, I'm going to move over to four and four on the D and G get that 6th fret hammer on. And that's, you know, Wind Cries Mary stuff. That kind of, where he's flat, precisely, and he gets in there, doesn't go. Watch out for that. And then, and when I'm sad, major pentatonic scale to slide into the 6. 4, 6, because that's an A chord. And yep, there's a little major pentatonic fill, a little bend there on the 7. Some nice vibrato there. Look at how I do that again. Vibrato. Everything's a hook to this index finger. He's getting there on that 5. He's locked in here. The motion is back here. That's classic rock and blues vibrato. A pull down, put it back. Pull it down, put it back. And then the song is going to do a cool C, B, B flat, A. So I'm going to do unison bends, so more blues technique. So it's interesting. We have this technique with our hand where it's got to be very flat and precise. But then I'm going to switch to like. Unison bending. So fifth, uh, 13 on the B. 15 is going to go up a whole step to get to a. C note, but yeah. And you always will vibrato that note because it's hard to get it perfect. You saw that just walking down. If you have a Stratocaster or a guitar with a tremolo, this is even harder because as you push this note up, the other note goes down. So what, that's again why people will vibrato these. down to an E. And some more, yeah. Uh, some more major pentatonic fills. There I am on my G string. Four, six, five. And then I drop the melody an octave. One of my favorite alternate E chords, 0, 2, C, 
six, that gets the G sharp tone. Kind of a neat alternative to that, warmer. You saw that, four, two. So that there, six, 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 four, two, six. Hammer on to four, to the two. Two, 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 four, six, two. And then the last little part of the phrase, four to six, zero to two. That's all it is. space now thinking about what was I thinking about I don't even know um only thing I was going to say while I was thinking about this is is if you were doing this song as a proper arrangement I kind of abridge it all you would have to do is um do that melody twice instead of once how I did it so it would have to go you to do it again stuff yeah yeah this is nice it's a short little arrangement it's not too tricky um, and it makes for well T-Rex is awesome so it makes for a good warm-up there's actually some good techniques in here good luck thanks for watching